Hand over your wallet. Yes, I will. The police say you should say. Minneapolis police tell residents to obey criminals and be prepared to be robbed. They're literally telling their citizens to hand over their wallets. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on the internet, we're going to talk about this insane story. Now this cannot be ignored because I believe this is the future of the world everywhere as the left calls to defund the police, de abolish the police, and get rid of police entirely. So, police say that Minneapolis residents should obey criminals and be prepared to be robbed amid a wave of violent crime in the city. So what we've seen is a very, very common thread. and. You see Democrats everywhere who've been preaching the same message. Get rid of the police. Take away the police's power. The police are corrupt. There's institutional racism. And, you know, they're blaming bigotry on the police and saying that it's all the police's fault that, you know, these riots are happening. I disagree. First of all, look at this, look at this police chief. Does he look white to you? That's a white man, Mr. Obvious. No, 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 I don't think so. I think that guy is a bona fide African-American fellow. And he's a black police chief. And yet they're going to call the Minneapolis Police Department uh, bigoted or discriminatory, even though, you know, they're just doing their jobs in the first place. Now, what are the consequences of getting rid of the police, of abolishing the police, regardless of where you stand on the protests, on the riots, Democrat, Republican, liberal, or conservative? What do you think happens when you get rid of the police? Well, you end up in a world run by criminals. So we're going to get into this. We're going to talk about the letter and the message that the chief of police in Minneapolis, as well as the police department, sent to its citizens. But before we do, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell button for notifications for more content. And if you like the video, please consider giving it a share. I'm gonna give a shout out to my Patreon page. Honestly, I'm not sure if Patreon is even gonna survive, but the reason I'm updating you guys on this is because when Patreon updated its UI, it accidentally removed my discord benefits uh to my tiers well i've recently fixed this manually so if you join any single tier and you have your discord account hooked up on patreon you should receive an automatic invite to a private discord server where i and many others hang out link will be down below in the description so let's talk about the minneapolis police department as well as the police in general because I predict and I see that this is going to happen all over the United States, all over the West, as Democrats and leftists push to defund and disempower the police. So the Minneapolis Police Department has reported a 46% increase in carjackings and a 36% increase in robberies compared to the same time last year, according to WCCO. What do you mean crime has gone up? What about all the social workers? Police in the city's third precinct alone have received more than 100 reports of robberies and 20 reports of carjackings in the last month. Officials are now telling residents to be ready and willing to comply with the demands of criminals in an email sent to third precinct residents. Here you can see. This is the email sent to Minneapolis. Attention, third precinct residents, July 28th, 2020. Robberies and carjackings have increased in our precinct. Cell phones, purses, and vehicles are being targeted. Some victims have been maced, dragged, assaulted, and some threatened with a gun. Most of these crimes have occurred north of 42nd Street, East 100. Robberies and 20 carjackings have been reported to the 3rd Precinct Police in July alone. Downtown and southwest Minneapolis have seen an increase as well. We want those who live and work there to be safe. Now, what are the robbery prevention tips? Let's find out because these ingenious tips are going to show you how to avoid all of the criminals. Robbery prevention tips. Do not walk alone. Be hyper aware of your surroundings at all time. Pay attention. Carry only items you need and carry less cash. So far, so good. I mean, these are common sense. They make sense. It really seems like, uh, yeah, this is pretty good advice. But then we get to the crazy part. Be prepared to give up your cell phone and purse slash wallet. The only thing a criminal will get from me is a bullet. Yeah, this is absolutely peak clown world folks we're living in a day and age where the police are telling the citizens that if they're being mugged or robbed just give away your money now keep in mind in this day and age cell phones are extremely important 
cell phones are used to log into most of your online accounts, maybe your bank account, maybe you have two-factor, maybe you have all sorts of logins and passwords. Giving up your phone may as well be giving up your identity. It is extremely dangerous to lose your phone or your wallet or anything, really. That is why if I was mugged, I would never give anything. So this is terrible advice. This is not something you should ever do. And you know what? I believe in American citizens' right to defend themselves and defend their own lives by necessary means. Hey, old man, give me everything. Oh, oh, call an ambulance, call an ambulance, but not for me. So their other advice is have keys already in your hand as you approach your car. Oh, well, oh, that's sweet, right? They started off soft. They gave us an insane statement and now they're buttering us up again. But what comes next? Point, despite all our efforts, robberies may still occur. Do not argue a fright with the criminal. Do as they say. Bend over. But I'm a man. I don't care. Bend over. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Well, I don't think you and I will be doing anything any kind of way. This guy uh, up. Hey, don't make me ruin that bike, no, Chris. I'm, no, a, please. I'm a warrior. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what? No, I'm gonna give you guys better advice. Do not do whatever they say. If they tell you to, to, to roll over, to get on your knees, will you? I certainly won't. Oh, they're not gonna take me without a fight. And if I'm going down, they're going down with me. If they tell me to bend over, I'm gonna bend over them. Now, here's their justification for this, for, for doing as they say. Your safety is the most important. And what if they tell you to do something that will result in harm to you? See, this is insane. And part of me thinks that maybe the police is trolling. Like maybe they know just how this looks and how this sounds. And maybe they're trying to scare people straight. Scare them into realizing that they do need the police. Now here's the last point. Be a good witness. When you call 911, be prepared to answer many questions. How many suspects? Age, height, complexion, hair and eye color. Scars or tattoos, weapon, what did it look like? Vehicle description. <clears throat> now that's common sense, but uh, I'm not sure how well the police will actually be able to track people down. Because thanks to leftists, the police don't have any power. And the irony is, it's the leftists who are gonna get robbed, who are gonna get mugged, who are gonna be assaulted. And <laughs> the first thing that these dummies do, call the police. And they were the people who wanted to get rid of the police in the first place. Oh, the irony. So here are carjacking prevention tips. They're pretty much, uh, yeah, these are common sense, but, you know, it's just shocking. They literally say, prepare to get robbed. Prepare to give up your cell phone and your wallet and your purse. Do whatever the criminals say. Even though some people have been maced, dragged, assaulted. Yeah. So in addition to emailing the Minneapolis residents, the police have also circulated the directions via local media. KTSP, Bring Me the News, and other outlets have all reposted the MPD's directives word for word. Despite this, innocent people have been affected by the recent rash of crime. After several men tried to rob a woman in broad daylight, police said a good Samaritan rushed to intervene and was shot in the process. Don't be a hero. Yeah, that's, that's rule number one, folks. Don't be a hero, especially for the modern day person, because not only are they going to be ungrateful, it's also not worth it. If I saw a woman being mugged, I would just walk away. I wouldn't care. Why? Because one, it's none of my business. Two, I'm not going to lose my life over a complete stranger. Now you can say, oh, you know, that's like, that's not cool, man. If I saw a girl and she was being attacked, I would save the day like a knight in shining armor. Okay, well, let me polish my black armor and uh, sit back and watch because I'm certainly not going to be shot for some random thought woman. A 99-year-old woman who was assaulted. Okay, so this is different. If I saw a 99-year-old woman assaulted, I would intervene. Uh, no questions asked. Okay, because, uh, yeah, that's unacceptable. A 99-year-old woman was also assaulted in her home by a man who broke in and wrapped her head in a blanket. Despite her age and the directions to comply with the criminal's demands, Evan Johnson boldly warded off her attacker. Wow, based grandma. The 82-year-old literally turned the tables on a guy who tried to break into her Rochester home. She's been powerlifting for the last eight years. I picked it up and started hitting, hitting, 
and it broke, the table broke in half because I was wailing on his behind. Willie was okay, but the burglar, he had to take a trip to the hospital. We've got, we're living in a day and age where this based 99, 99-year-old woman is beating up criminals and fighting back. Meanwhile, the police are cucks, the people are being cucked, and people are just getting robbed. Bravo! Dude, this woman has more testosterone than your average Democrat. Quote, so this is what she had to say. Quote, he thought he was just going to cover my mouth and smother me, but that didn't happen. I fought him. We wrestled for a while, according to all my bruises, she told KTSP. She's 99 years old. And this soy boy criminal was literally too effeminate and weak to fight off a 99 year old woman. You know what? I think we know who's going to be the new female in the prisons. <laughs> oh boy. So Johnson said the suspect eventually shoved her into the bathroom, stealing her iPad and $40. Well, I hope they catch him. I hope he goes to jail. And, uh, you know, I hope the inmates are told that he beat up a 99-year-old woman. I'm sure that even our criminals will, uh, you know, it's not like they have grandmas that were kind to them. It's not like they, they had aunts. I'm sure they'd be very happy to hear that this man beat up and robbed a 99 year old woman and got beat up himself oh man the democrats have gone insane the left is killing us they are literally killing us and killing this country because this is the future that they want a future where criminals are able to do crimes and get away with it why do you think that antifa and black lives matter why do you think they want to get rid of police it's simple it's because they're made up of people largely criminal in nature who want to live in a world where there are no police so that they can do whatever they want and break the law. BLM wants to loot. Antifa wants to have socialism. They want to topple statues. They're trying to get rid of the police because they want America to be lawless. But what they want is irrelevant. But you know what's not irrelevant? The comment section. A user named Laura Roberts has the advice that I would give. She goes on to say, Send out a letter stating which gun stores to shop at where to take training classes for your weapon, and if needed, where to get your carry license. Anything is better than telling citizens to comply to criminal demands. What kind of freaking world are we living in these days? Exactly. I will never comply with any criminals, okay, because I'm an American, and America does not negotiate with terror. If you try to rob me, oh my, whoa, 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 I feel sorry for you, because I will practice my right to self-defense. What's really insane, and this is the result of Democrats, is in a lot of places, you're not even allowed to defend yourself. For example, Fatback says in Minnesota, your right to defend yourself will be challenged in court. You will be arrested and you will incur hefty legal costs. In effect, you will have no protection from the feral mob. This is the world that Democrats want. This is the world that Democrats have created. And I don't know about you. But I do not want to live in that world. But you know what, my friends? That's pretty much the story. It goes without saying, this is the world created by Democrats. Don't vote Democrat. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, if you want to support the work I do, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. Maybe Subscribestar is better since Patreon is currently, uh, well, getting effed in the bum by illegal cases. If you want to donate, there's Donobox and Crypto. Links and addresses are down below in the description. And why not visit my merch store? Have you ever wanted to take back the Holy Land? Well, now you can with a Deus Vault Night Classic t-shirt. As always, the link is down below in the description. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.